I don't know much about uh, Henry Ford um, the second, but he's not Henry Ford. And it's my understanding, I mean, basically from watching the movie, it's my understanding that he's not a visionary in the way that his father was. He's the son of the visionary who's trying to keep the company running and trying to keep it a visionary company, but without ideas himself. He's actually the grandson of the visionary. They grandson, do a strange thing I in that family. I know that little. <laughs> well, there's Henry Ford, and then his son is Edsel Ford, and then Edsel Ford's son is Henry Ford the second. And then Henry Ford the second son is Edsel Ford the second. So they do a sort of you know, rich odd. people are weird. Yeah, I they don't know. do an, they do an odd thing, uh, but in a sense he was a visionary. I mean, first of all, how difficult is it to take over a company with your name on it, where where your grandfather is not only uh, a really important part of automotive history, but a big part of world history. I mean, Henry Ford's a really important figure in, in world history. And so the, the weight of that, that legacy on a guy like Henry Ford II, and at the time his company was, uh, you know, the Ford Motor Company's never been in that much trouble, but they had had a disastrous release of the Edsel, a car named for his father, uh, and that was on his watch. And in the mid-60s, the Ford Motor Company was seen as square, uh, the, the movie talks about that some, too. So the idea that they would enter the world of European auto racing uh, largely for public relations, and it actually did work. I mean, the Ford Motor Company got a, a big leg up in Europe as a result of participating in Le Mans. But, you know, even beyond that, I just... Uh, I, I Like I say, I don't understand how somebody... Uh, wakes up every day with the weight of that on their chest. And it was one of the things that really compelled me about playing the part, the idea that that this guy, of course, has genuine insecurity. And and one of the main reasons they even go to the race is because he gets his feelings hurt by Ferrari. Yeah.